Our day has come and it is complete. Finally, I've gotten all the parts to my generator, 3D printed. I'm gonna tell you the story of what went wrong and how I fixed it. <clears throat> now I'm gonna assemble it. The, the little magnet array, as you can see, that was actually a super hard part to, not to print, but to get the wire to actually stay around it. I just bought a roll of a magnet wire off Amazon for, I think it was 10 bucks. And I had to wrap each of those individual coils and I think on each one, at least once, all the wires would pop off just because there wasn't enough force holding them in. The propeller part in the middle, as you can see, it actually took me a few prints to get this to work. I think we did about two or three, and the first of those failed, and it wasn't until the last one I actually got it to work. Just because the blades are so thin, it would come off the bed and it just wouldn't lay right. The body parts were pretty simple to print, not many problems there along with it. We had a few that warped and we ended up just reprinting it at a lower speed and it worked just fine. All right, that is the, uh, the assembly part. So I'm done with that. Let's take you, uh, take you back up front. All right, so that is my 3D printed generator. <laughs> As you can see, it's a uh, pretty sizable. I mean, it's not light, honestly. It has some weight to it. That's gonna be the end of uh, part two. So stay tuned for part three. I'm gonna test it and see if I can actually get it to work. So yeah, see you then.